Welcome back to Rimworld and to Sib and to remarkably little blood. Look at this place. There was a little bit there, but never mind that. Ah, good times. Good times. Things are growing. And that actually makes me think uh, that before we... Oh, and this needs to be finished. So I want, I want these walls... Oh, this is going to bother me. Um, I want these walls to be actually of the same... I know it's a luxury right now. Oh, they're, they're, they're working on it. But I want actually, at some point, the walls, I want all the walls to be of the same material. Let's get rid of that. And in fact, let's get rid of this as well. Uh, and I want to create a little area here somehow. Like, my, my idea is, I want there to be... Uh, a place where where guests can come in directly with through doors, and then I want there to be a sort of passageway filled with traps somewhere around here, which I'll build up out of uh, in a minute. But like I said, before we before we get to that point, I want to make sure that we get uh, all the walls built. They are sl slowly getting built here now. We have uh, we're getting some blocks, but I think. Even before that, since this is now working so nicely, what I think I'll do is I want to make another little growth area here uh, to grow our, uh, grow winter plants for us. And uh, let's hope we can get that done. What kind of blocks are these? Uh, people are not... Slate blocks. Maybe we just don't have enough slate. We seem to have enough... Wait, what's this? Granite blocks? Sandstone? Right, let's let me cancel. Let me sort of uh, let's see here. Cancel these and put in. We seem to have some granites. So let's put in. I'll, I'll see what I'll, I'll do. It's, it's not actually very not very critical here. Uh, I do want, however, some concrete on the ground here. Alright, um, now, yes, like I said, remarkably little blood. Now, I hope that, now that I said that, that doesn't mean that it's gonna take away that sleeping spot. Maybe this, that sleeping spot. We have uh, quite a lot less animals around these days, unfortunately, so. Can he actually reach this area? Oh, can you reach this area? Yeah, it seems like you can. Okay, let's speed the time up a bit. Um, and yeah, um, okay, so here's the, here's the plan. This area in here, I want it to, I want to construct a little maze, and I want there to be two ways of entry. And I have to see here, we have this mud area here, so we have to build around that. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little bit of a maze here, filled with traps, but no, no doors. Uh, and that will mean like enemies try to path in that way and go through the traps. And then I'll build a, a little gatehouse. And I have to build it out quite a lot because of this stupid mud that stops me from... Uh, or maybe I can just have a shorter way through here. Anyway, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll make a secondary way with doors. And because guests to the colony can... Mad animal. A local turkey has gone mad. Really? Are you the mad... Where, where are you? Are you the mad turkey? Uh, how do I know? Where's the mad turkey? Which... Uh, is it... Is it mad in its sleep? An armor vest worn by Johnny Tyrion away to nothing. I was <laughs> so worn out that it doesn't have anything on it anymore. Mm, I don't know if you're the mad turkey. How do I know if you're crazy? Or did it already start... Making its way. What well, is a turkey? How how dangerous can that be? Okay, I know I I just <laughs> might have given us a death sentence by saying how dangerous can that be, but Do we have anyone else who's good at hunting? I don't I don't really wanna put anyone else else out for hunting because we have meat in here. And as long as there's food for Walter to do, I want him to, to focus on feeding people, uh, warning people. Doing all that, but once once uh, we start running low on 
on the meeting there, I think we need to sort this out. Okay, so let's see. Walls are built here, walls are built there, walls are built there. Okay, that means that uh, we, ha we can start working on this again. Uh, let's do a structure, and we'll do a limestone block. Now, how, how wide is this? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, and then 10. So, do it like this. Do it like that. And we put in some uh, wood doors here. Like here, and here. And this should be okay. And we'll also put in some power conduits uh, along here. And up to there. This should be good. I can't actually believe that it seems like we're able to sort of develop the colony again. Maybe I'm speaking too soon, I don't know. Uh, here we go. And again, what uh, we're growing, what should we grow here? Eh, do we have... what's going... what's going here? Uh, heel root, potato, rice, and hops. So let's put corn, um, strawberry, um, dandelions. What do they do? Uh, do we need some more? I want more, more food, so let's do more ra rice. And more potato. We just, I just want to have sort of more stuff. And finally, we'll put a uh, sun lamp in here. The sun lamps take up quite a. Ooh. Actually, that's not a good place for it. I, I kind of didn't get that in the center place, but I'm not going to let that bother me. It's not, it's not a big deal. We'll, we'll have it here, and that's fine. There's no need to. What? How? What? Fire? Just. Just random. Oh, the comms thing, and this is a wooden thing. All right, well, go and put it out. It's just a bit of fire. What was it that blew up? He's fixing it. That reminds me, we also need to. All the batteries discharged. Ah, blah, bollocks. But this does remind me that we also need to keep on replacing all these walls, especially the ones that have wiring going through them. Look at this, by the way. I like this, that uh, this sun lamp is, uh, is, uh, gets priority. I, d I didn't set that up, but it seems that uh, this, uh, we, we will first, you, uh, the, the sun lamp gets energy first from the wind power plant, and then it slowly comes down this way. So, fault in electrical conduit. Oh, pirate merchant. Okay, let's, uh, let's see who... Is Walter still our best social guy? Yeah, I mean, just uh, I could have let him sleep. I mean, this day it's, you you want to make sure he gets his rest because so we can sell ambas. Don't really want to do that. We can buy beer. We can buy medicine, which is expensive, and we have no silver. Ah, ha! Huh. Wait, do we have silver? No, we do not. We can't sell him anything, and we don't have any money. Well, that that sorry to wake you up for that, Walter. That was just a waste of time. We have beer. How can we? D didn't want. They didn't want to buy beer. They had one beer to sell. We could have sold them masses of beer. I wonder if this. Oh, won't spoil. Oh, there's no door there. What's happened to our door? Uh, structure. Let's put a wood door in here. Okay. Have you put a roof over here already? No, not yet. Let's see if we can get that going, and then once it's built, okay. I'm just gonna uh, monitor this right now to see if he goes in there and builds the roof. He did not, so it seems like he has something better to do. Oh, here he comes. Roof. Wait, just just one piece of roof? Come on, Amon. What's going on? Did you go eat? Oh yeah, there's no light. Why is there no light? Is it... I guess that's... These are taking up quite a lot of power now. Heh! <laughs> but... 
Oh, well, the conduits are broken. Of course, silly me. The power conduits are broken from the explosion. Mauno, actually, I'd like you to, to get this done. Oh, you're already doing it. Well done. Do we have a roof here now? Some places, yes. Some places, no. Now, here are the rest, the rest of the roof. It is roofed. That means we can put in a heater. Uh, I'm going to have to put it here because I don't want to have it straight in front of the door. Okay. Oh, look at that food. Food in the winter. We have winter food. <laughs> winter food, people. We've arrived. That is awesome. That is officially awesome. Okay. So, uh, Mauno's working on the heater there. Winter food. I, I'm just... I can't even tell you how excited that makes me. And I don't know... If that, uh, yeah. Is that weird? I don't know. I don't care. Because this is fantastic. We've done some concrete here and here. I actually want some metal tiles under the door, so it'll nod to Avak. A brief note about Avak. I mention him every now and then. He's a Let's Player that I've uh, that basically inspired me to to make these series. And I have to say, <laughs> making these, I've I've have, have learned how incredibly difficult uh, it is to actually speak and play something at the same time. And I have to take off my hat to people who do this professionally. Now, of course, they have had a lot more training, uh, but still, it is no easy feat. Have a go at it yourself if you want to. It's not very hard to do, uh, to sort of technically do, but it's it's not easy. Uh, and so, I think it's pretty cool uh, how some people can do a smashing job of it. Anyway, Look at this place. It's like it's like it's as if this isn't a a place where where bloodbath habitually happens. Wow. Anyway, um, we're kind of running low on food. Oh, what am I saying? We're running low on food? No, we're not because we're growing winter food. Ha 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 ha. In fact, I almost. I'm so excited about this idea of winter food that I almost just want to. Oh, one thing I want to do is I want to put in a. S oh, I'll turn. I'll just flick. Turn this off. Uh, psychic drone. Oh no! Every colonist of the female gender win winces in pain. So now uh, our girls will be a bit more upset. Luckily, Robin is 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 not someone to go crazy easily. But that being said, we know all too well what can happen if if things go south, like they did in that one episode a long time ago. But, now we have this situation, and this situation we, uh, needs some kind of... We have a, actually a really big area here that we're currently not utilizing at all. And what I think I'd like to do is actually... Yes, uh, we're, not, we're not using that at all. So, sorry Mauno, no, you put in a lot of work building this wall. Uh, I just want you to tear it down. Is that okay? And what we'll do is we're actually going to... We did construct this as well. We're going to uh, rebuild the base so that we cut down from here to here to here. Reducing the amount of, of space we are uh, operating on. And also creating a more easily defensible plot. Uh, but before we do that, I want to get on with uh, the sort of deconstructing of wood walls in here. Yes, we'll start with these. And then we'll, win. Well, then we'll see when, when someone has a chance to come up and do that. Yes, structure, limestone wall, there. Yes, this is going to be kind of like a piece... Hope, I'm hoping this will be a sort of like a peaceful colony management video thingy. And once those are removed, I'll also... There we go. Cargo pods. Wonderful. Uh, camel hair. You know what? We can make clothes out of camel hair, I think. So that's good. It's all good. 
What's happened here? Metal tile. Blueprint. Why is it forbidden? Go ahead and work on it. It's not forbidden. I have no intention of forbidding that. Look! Look! You know what that is? That's fine meals, that is. We haven't had fine meals since, I don't know, since Ansu died. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, joyous day. Why is there no power? Have I... Okay, yeah, I accidentally di disconnected that uh, power conduit right there. Now all the power conduits are going through, and uh, Manu, I hope you... No, don't go to sleep. I need that. We want... No. Uh, power conduit, please. Just fix it as soon as you can. Thank you. Oh, and just... Uh, uh, you might build some, build some things as well. How are you doing, Ambas? Our fine fellow? Psychic drone is, is bothering. The psychic drone is bothering you. I can understand that. The female... Female chief? I, I can't believe I haven't noticed it before. This is the chief of that tribe of crazies. Oh my goodness. We have their chief. We're going to recruit their chief. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually getting quite tired of seeing these things lying around. Hold them. They are in the way. Hold these as well. Uh, and this. All it all. Maybe we can start actually cleaning up a little bit here. That would be great. Okay. So, holding things away. Uh, poor mood. Johnny. Johnny, what's wrong? Oh, the psychic drone. Of course. Uh, hope, I hope you don't break. Just ho let's hope the psychic drone ends soon, because, I mean, I'm not going to make anyone happy to... Let's, let's hope it just it just ends, yeah. Is is this Johnny's room? Yeah, and he doesn't have any walls right now, so he'll he's going to be a little upset about that. But let's hope he can just sleep. When you sleep, it's hard to be terribly angry. You might wake up terribly angry again. Um, how warm is this going? It's 21. Yeah, let's keep it at a, at, at a, at a nice 21 to get a good growing temperature for our crops. What's this? Okay, that's fine. We have metal. Alright, Robin's eating. Walter's wardening and then going off to cook. The wolf is wolfing. Mauno is maunoing. This is just great. This is just... Uh, it's as if... Uh, no, I don't want to say too much. I'll just jinx it. But Do I have had a metal tile here already? No, we don't. I thought it looked a bit weird. Alright, so... Robin's... They're making... Tiles. Breakdown heater. Oh, that one. But no one's here anymore, so I actually turn this off. Turn this light off as well. No one's in there anymore. I'll, I'll have the light on here, because I don't know. Just I want to have the light on. These are now deconstructed, so we can go ahead and start uh, the whole plan. Cargo parts. Again, more free stuff. <gasps> hops! I don't know why I got so excited about hops, it's just completely regular stuff. But, um, yeah, actually go ahead and get this structure down here. We can use the sandstone blocks that got freed up and just pull that down right there. No, not right there. Here, that looks better. And then we will build again sandstone wall and we can build it straight down here deconstruct this please and this will basically uh, allow us to not care about all this way oh so let's take a look at, at uh, the home area right now to see what's going on yeah we can clear this right off and We'll actually leave this as home here right now, because this is... What's happened here? What is this? Sandstone wall. We need more wall. Wanderer... What? Het habu he! A villager named Iris has arrived and is joining the colony. She is an herb world... Uh, herb world... An herb world entrepreneur. 
Iris has a relationship with a colonist. She is Maunus' lover. Oh my gosh. 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 Ah, let's look at this person. Iris. Iris was your name before you came to your realization that you are part of our crowd. Your real name, of course, is... Well, it's still real name, but everyone calls you Richard. Because, you know, uh, reasons. A 51-year-old. Let's say just the 35-year-old, 51-year-old. Ah, I'm not going to say anything. Alright, so Richard, the girl. Rich, I don't know. Uh, Rickard, I think it's Rickard, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. Someone, uh, Rickard has to tell me in the comments. Uh, the child of an illicit affair. Just like Leva. Rickard was brought up by nuns in a medieval convent. She learned the value of hard work and submission, and but was taught that technology is heretical. And in adulthood, an herb world entrepreneur. In the herb worlds, most suffer. But someone has to run the corporations. Rickard learned the st skills of the trade, greasing palms and technical analysis. She is a social intellectual mas machine. But that's a shame because look at uh, uh, research plus three, but the covenant chart says research and disabled, so that just goes completely. Social plus six. Social 11. Look at this person, a socialite. We can have s this person can be wardening, this person can be. Now we can have a non psychopath. Traits nudist. <laughs> Rickard enjoys the feeling of freedom that comes from being nude. She can handle clothing, but will be happier without it. Okay. Chemical interest. Uh, an unusual interest in chemical sources of enjoyment. And prosthophobe. Rickard believes that the human body is limited for a reason. To her, bionic body parts are unethical. So what can you do? You can mine, you can grow, you can construct. You cannot fight. You're, you're, you're Lefa too. <sighs> but anyway, welcome to the colony, Rickard. What a wonderful, wonderful addition to the colony. You can firefight at least. That's that's fantastic. Where are you much of a doctor? Um, no, just stay away from doctoring. You can. Uh, everyone should flick switches. I don't care what your skill is. Now wardening, you will do that as a s secondary, and Walter gets a rest because you are so much better at it. Well done. Uh, handling? No, don't do that. Cooking? Don't do that. Hunting? Nope, you can't. You're not incapable of violence, so. Constructing. Oh, you're nice. You're good at this. This will mean Mauno can get some help. Fantastic. Repair. Yes, everyone does that. Growing. Yeah, you can you can stay as, as a tertiary there. Mining. Lefa is still uh, just our main miner, but you can have it as a three if need be. Art. You like it, but you you kind of suck at it. Hauling and cleaning. Now let's see. We have one preliminary hauler. So we'll do. We'll move you to be one as well. And, and you know, Johnny isn't actually all that great at hauling because of his injury. So I think we'll we we'll, we we'll put Mauno back on hauling since you have have a little help now. Okay, that's that. And then let's see your sleep and work patterns. We can. Uh, your <laughs> your Mauno's lover. So. That means you're actually... We don't need to build a separate room for you because you will sleep in Mauna's room! <laughs> Effectiveness. Wonderful. Everyone should be lovers. Uh, and like that. And like this. And uh, actually, Mauna, I think that uh, now that you have a friend, uh, this, the psychic drone's over. No, it's not. It's still there. So I'll, I'll leave the, the rest of them like that, but... Here we go. Mauno, how do you feel? How does that mis how does it make you feel? Uh, tons of joy. Opinion of my lover, Richard. Oh, uh, okay. Well, they you do. You get to. I mean, it's, it's all fine. Let's take a look at how this goes. Oh, wondrous day. Let's take a look at, at how this... Mauno is right here. Can't you... Um, do we have a... Do we need to... We can put it like that. We'll see how this works out. Look at that record going straight to work. Well done, Rickard. What do you do now? 
Building snowman! Look at that! We have a snowman! Animal observation. Turkeys. You don't have much food anymore, do you? And we sold all the hay. But you don't eat hay. But you eat kibble. Uh, didn't I make... See, I have this make kibble. We have 37 kibble. Ah, let's do... Let's do a thing. Let's do a thing. And that thing is... Um, where should we have a little kibble area? Since, since they're sleeping in here... Let's set up a zone, a stockpile zone, right here, just a little zone, and uh, clear everything else, and we have food, meals, kibble, right here, and we'll put this as preferred. And hopefully they'll get a little something right there, once someone has the time. I want to see what happens with... Look at this! Oh, the cutie cute! The witty witty Sleeping in the same bed. Oh. Oh, <laughs> anyway, that was nice. It's nice to see. I'm glad Mauna got someone because he lost his sister and uh, was very sad. Look at this snowman. Whoop. Mad animal. A local raccoon. Are you the crazy raccoon? Another sleeping one will hunt it when you have the chance. And uh, other people go mad in their sleep. What's, what's up with that? But I think with this crazy animal, let's just bring the view back to. Ah, uh, love. Isn't it wonderful? Ah, uh, it makes me happy. I hope it makes them happy. I hope they have a good uh, relationship. Mauna's Mon a, a good kid. Uh, who cares about the age difference? No one should, no one should tell him what to do. Uh, I think... I hope, I hope I, Mauna's been relatively stable. The only time he broke down, he locked himself in his room. He hasn't gone on killing sprees. Not a very violent man is Mauno. Uh, so I think, I hope things are going to go well for them. I hope. And uh, let's hope no one messes things up for them. Okay, Walter. Don't mess things up now in here. Okay. You. You don't mind, Rickard. Interesting. Hate everyone else. <sighs> Mauno likes everyone except Johnny. Really hates Johnny. Because she's ugly, among other things. She's also disfigured. They... What? Ugly disfigured? Oh, come on. That's just mean. Lefa likes uh, a lot of people, kinda. Walter hates everyone, but he's a psycho, so what can you expect? Uh, Johnny kinda likes Walter. And uh, Robin likes Walter. Oh, really likes Walter. Uh... And Rickard likes Mauno and no one else. I'm sure everything will be fine. I'm sure. I'm sure. I hope. I really hope. Alright, but thanks for joining me this time. It has been a very positive and uplifting episode. We haven't had many of those here, have we? Look at this stuff. Look at this gloriousness. That is the inside food. Look at this. Which is love. Well, wherever it is. But it's in there here somewhere. Let's hope that that sort of uh, balances out all the bad feelings that are lying around left and right. Ah, <sighs> and soon, soon. The improvised turrets, people. It's going to happen. But it's not going to happen in this episode. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you join me for the next one. And until then, do take care.